Let's do it. Hey, what's up, JD Aliens, man? We got some new stuff up in here. So for those of you who are interested in starting up a podcast or maybe shooting some YouTube videos and can't figure out what to do with your USB mic, you know, you, they usually come with a little stand or sometimes they don't come with a stand at all. Whether it comes with a table stand or not, it's all irrelevant because I'm gonna show you a solution that will make it more versatile. Today we're gonna take a look at the toner or maybe toner, I'm not sure, T20 Studio Boom Arm. Here we go, man. These things are a must when it comes to podcasting and shooting videos with a USB microphone. And I'll tell you why. There's a few elements in here that we're gonna discuss very quickly because this is not a super technical product, but we just gotta run through some stuff. So right here, you get your two year warranty, get your instruction manual. I may or may not need this. I'm, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff. However, I have set one of these up before. So right off the top, we have, what is this? Ah. This right here is your pop filter with a, you know, it's like a little C-clamp almost uh, that you can attach to the boom arm. So what this is for is like, when you say things that like, you know, like T's, like hard T's and P's and stuff like that, they're called plosives and sometimes you even spit. <laughs> so this is for those heavy spitters. So when you say like things like pow, 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 you know, this kind of blocks the spit, but it also kind of, takes the sharpness off of that plosive, that, that hard T or that hard P. So this is a nice addition to a kit. Like a lot of kits don't even come with this. So this is huge right here. Let's put this to the side, see what else we got. Okay, we have, man, that is a huge foam cover. How big is this microphone? What, does it even have a microphone? Wait a minute, there's no microphone in here, but you get a cover for one, here you go. All right, so then let's unbox some more stuff. Oh man, y'all know I like new stuff. Oh God, wait, man, I can't believe y'all forgot to tell me, man. Hashtag new stuff in the comment section. All right, let's keep going. Let's see if we can get this open without tearing things up too bad. So right here, what is this? All right, we got, this is for your microphone. All right, well, we'll, we'll talk about all this stuff as I get it, or once I get it unboxed, because this box is kind of tricky. All right, so what else is in here? Okay, so here is the actual arm itself. Let's just toss that. Whoa, okay. Hey, when you first open this thing, look at this. Caution, it's spring loaded. If this thing comes out and pops you in the nose, you know, it's not my fault or Toner's fault because you have been warned. I wanna get this off here, but I don't want it to spring out at me, hold on. Cause it is spring loaded and it could just pop open. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta be careful. All right, so it's not really aggressive, okay? But it is spring-loaded, so be careful, man. Let me just undo it just like that. So right here, you can see the length of it, how far it can stretch. And uh, man, it's it's kind of tight. I like it that it's tight. And you can loosen it by turning these bolts right here. You can loosen it up just a little bit. And even this one right here, this turn knob. But I prefer to have it a little tight. That way it just doesn't do out of control things while you're trying to manipulate it. So let's just go ahead and put it together. And this is your table clamp right here. So let me just put this table clamp right here. Let me just show you real quick. So this is a huge base. So this is where your microphone stand, the boom arm, it actually goes into this slot right here. And then you clamp this onto your tabletop and you can see how much travel you got there. That is, you can put this on a huge table if you want to. So let me just slide this in right here. There is your base and you can clamp it on as tight as you want to. Be sure not to crush your table. This is one of them cheap, hollow Ikea tables. So don't, don't screw it in too hard. And then it just slides in just like that. Then you got your 100, or I'm sorry, 360 degree rotation. And then you can just kind of push that out <laughs> towards yourself if you want to. Right now, I'm noticing how solid this thing is. I've actually used one of these made by a company called Newer or Newer. And I don't remember it being this solid, which is very impressive because these uh, inexpensive models, sometimes they're not as solid and they, they feel kind of flimsy. All right, so you get these parts right here. You get a um, an adapter for the bottom of your mic which uh, we won't be using until I shoot my next video because I got a toner microphone that you might want to check out too. You get some uh, some Velcro straps here to kind of tidy up 
your, uh, your cable once you put it on this boom arm right here. And once again, this is your microphone uh, holder right here. So if you have a microphone with a, you know, one of those handheld type of microphones, you can slide it in here and you can screw this onto the top. So let's just go ahead and do that and pretend like we actually have one of those microphones. So that screws in right there, just like that, nice and snug like, and then you can adapt it or adjust it just like such. Let's loosen this up just a little bit and then we'll tighten that up. And for some reason, they give you this protective foam cover for your plosives and things of that nature, uh, just in case you do have a microphone, but that thing is huge. But this actually goes, this is big enough to fit on a USB microphone because they usually have bigger heads, Pauls. <laughs> <laughs> so right here, once again, we have this windscreen and it does have a clamp on it. And it looks like it would be a V shape right here. If you can look at that, it's a V shape, but it is actually just a 90 degree angle. So what you need to do is you just kind of see if I can get this on camera. Let's pull it out just a little bit. If you can just angle that perfectly to get it on, you're not going to be able to see this, but I'm going to just screw it on just like this. So right now, it is clamped onto the arm itself. And what you can do now is just bring this around. So your microphone is right here. It's aiming at your face and you just swing this around the front of it. And I like that this is able to be manipulated to where you can actually just kind of hover it over yourself just like that. Can you see me? <laughs> you can hover it over yourself just like that. And you can speak into the microphone that would be right here. And then you don't spit in your microphone or get any of those plosives. So this is a nice set, man. It doesn't come with a shock mount or anything like that. Sometimes microphones come with shock mounts or you just have to purchase one separately. But this is a, a pretty complete kit, man. Even if your, uh, your USB microphone did not come with the windscreen or a foam cover. You got one here and you have a, um, a windscreen right here too. So yeah, I'm digging this, man. Toner, this is a nice, I, I cannot stress enough how the construction and build materials and just the feel of this thing is because like I said, I've, I've kind of checked out a few of these things and when you get into this, this budget range, range for these arms, they get a little flimsy and they just don't feel very quality. This one, however, it's sturdy. It's not real flimsy and it doesn't feel like, you know, it's gonna pop out or anything like that. Yes, you can hear the springs as you adjust it, but I'm pretty sure once you kinda, you know, loosen it up, use it a couple of times, it's gonna work out just fine. So this is it, man, the Toner T20 Studio Boom Arm. Look, I ain't no expert on this kind of stuff, but I have used these things a couple of times before. Hey, if you had a good time, watching the video make sure you throw me some emoji hands up in the comment section how about that all right man i gotta go make some more videos but until i get back to y'all make sure y'all keep being good together and i'll see y'all on the next upload oh so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place take what you want then leave huh man you better hit that subscribe and notification button that way you know when i'm over here opening up new stuff and while you're down there you might want to consider tapping that uh join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks see that wasn't so bad all right man i appreciate you and i'll see you at the next one Is that why you are here?